All right, Shroud fans, it's time to get your hopes up because he has pretty much confirmed a chance to compete in future VCT Open qualifiers or Opens upcoming. Yes, Shroud, after a rumor, may be forming a team with some other members out there. We'll touch on that in a second, but in a recent stream, he has confirmed he's been trying to put a team together not to compete officially, but for fun, to mess around in some Opens, maybe make a little headway. Pro probably not going to go too far, but you never know with some ex-pros or whatever lineup he can field, the lineup he he can actually choose from though, it might be a bit limited. Rumor going around you're joining a Valorant team, true? No, not true. Although we are trying to get into one of these VCT open qualities just for fun. We're trying to make like a team like me, Jordan, Sean, and I don't know, Dicey or something. We're trying to like just for fun mess around in a, in a qualifier, but that doesn't count as a team. That's just messing around. As after he said this, it brings up a, an issue we have actually seen with other streamers and pros and creators out there who are actually signed as only streamers or creators for an org who also fields a main Valorant roster. We talk about NRG Ethos, we talk about Liquid Mendo, have run into the same exact issue of they can't compete in Opens or any tournaments whatsoever, especially because of the conflict of interest of their organization having an actual Valorant roster. As you can imagine, the conflict there if they were to match up, that's a potential free win. It's it's a direct conflict. We've seen this throughout several esports that are not allowed whatsoever. If you have tied to to the organization, you can only field one team for an event or a qualifier. Now, with that, we also have Dicey supposedly on the roster. He's still technically with 100 Thieves, and someone like Sean Garris is with Gen G, to which they have now kind of given comment to. It seems that Shroud's dream team at least the ones he named so far, are not going to be potential options. I haven't played today. Am I competing in VCT? Yeah. I wish yeah, I could. I can't because I'm signed as a content creator for Gen G, and I think let's get this W. Let's get you back to Immortal, right where you belong. Why the only one that's like losing like 13 RR? Wait. Yeah, I know Pico Star. Unfortunately, I mean it was a plan, but I don't think I can do it. Which means that really shoots it in the foot of, of the Old Guys Club, who I was, last video we talked about Old Guys Club all the way back to CSGO. Man, what, oh, the, the fact they, oh, I shouldn't say almost, it was still a lengthy ways away from a CSGO major, but could have made a CSGO minor out of the North American region. With those boys, it seems that Sean Gares will not be a part of that. Nothing can be. Skadoodle's obviously tied up. I, I don't know about Freakazoid. There certainly are a few options out there to a to a main duet or trio of the old guys club. But other than that, we'll see who Shroud can pull in to actually form a roster to compete in the VCT Opens. Who do you think should play alongside Shroud? Huh? Till next time. You take care of yourself. Okay, drink some water. Drink some coffee. Stay hydrated, folks. It's important. I'll see you back here next time. Take care.